Thankfully, it has already been officially announced that the next X-Men movie is Apocalypse in 2016. So that, in and of itself, is not a spoiler, which are getting tricky to navigate these days. But details about X-Men Apocalypse are coming out fast and furiously, which is what we're going to discuss today. So that means it's time for a spoiler warning. If you have not yet seen X-Men Days of Future Past, you might want to wait to watch this video. Okay, still here? Holy crap, how cool is that end credit scene? While I don't recall Apocalypse's mutant power being the ability to move bricks, if you want to get technical, it could be an outward application of his ability to control the molecules in his own body. He's also been said to be a telepath and a telekinetic, and that last one could also account for the pyramid building we see here. This is a rather young apocalypse, yet that does tie in with ancient Egypt's history of rather young pharaohs, and the X-Men franchise's new rather young cast. And of course, that reveal of the Four Horsemen is pretty spectacular. In fact, the end credit scene is so spot on, we want X-Men Apocalypse now! But we have to wait until 2016, so let's do the next best thing, speculate. While Days of Future Past takes place in the 1970s, word is that Apocalypse will take place in the 1980s. Kind of making X-Men the new big screen Mad Men, or is that the Goldbergs? Anyway, this could actually be the perfect time period for our story, since in the early 80s, the Middle East was reaping the benefits of an oil boom. Sure, it all came crashing down in 1986 when the price of oil dropped, but the early 1980s still transformed the region and made the Middle East a global player. And for a franchise that has taken a distinct interest in history, they must be tempted to factor all this in with their new Egyptian villain. Now on to those four horsemen. You've heard of the four horsemen of the apocalypse in the Bible? Well, these four horsemen, pestilence, war, famine, and death, literally serve apocalypse, but rarely of their own free will. See, what has made Apocalypse such a memorable villain for the X-Men is not what he's done to the world, but what he's done to their own members. Angel's abduction, torture, and genetic altering at the hands of Apocalypse into his horsemen of death, Archangel, is perhaps the character's greatest story arc, and also one of the X-Men's darkest. Wolverine has also served as Apocalypse's horsemen of death, as has Gambit. Hmm, considering how these X-Men movies tend to be Wolverine-centric, this could be our in with Apocalypse. He wants Wolverine to serve as his horseman of death, and perhaps Gambit, aka Channing Tatum, has already been drafted? Another way to introduce Gambit into the franchise here is with Storm. It's already been confirmed that X-Men Apocalypse will feature younger versions of Storm, Jean Grey, and Cyclops, and Gambit has a history with fellow thief Aurora Monroe, which could also mean we'll be getting Mohawk Storm. Hey, wait a minute! Storm grew up in Egypt, where Apocalypse lives, right? Could we meet a young Storm as she tries to pick the X-Men's pocket? Now that we've circled back to Apocalypse, it's also worth noting that Cyclops has his own history with the character. He and Apocalypse briefly merged, and while in the end he got his body back, he kept some of Apocalypse's darkness. This was a crucial turning point for Cyclops, as it began a personal journey which would cause him to grow apart from Jean Grey, here's your chance Wolverine, and become the more militant leader he is today in the comics. Finally, it's not only Cyclops' story that ties Jean Grey to Apocalypse, but if they're both telepaths and telekinetics, that would put Jean Grey at the forefront of any battle between Apocalypse and the X-Men. So, are you more excited about X-Men Apocalypse after seeing X-Men Days of Future Past? And what do you think of how this could potentially all shake out? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.